Cybersecurity professionals plan and carry out security measures to protect an organization's computer networks and systems. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market, what kind of money they make, as well as their starting salaries in the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Cybersecurity professionals protect an organization's computer network and systems. Over the years, their responsibilities have grown as data breaches continually affect large organizations such as Facebook and Marriott. These professionals monitor their organization's networks for security breaches and investigate violations. They set up firewalls and data encryption programs to protect sensitive information. Some cybersecurity professionals conduct penetration testing, where they simulate cyber attacks on their own networks, looking for vulnerabilities. Other cyber professionals educate an organization's users on how to spot scams. Another responsibility for some cyber professionals is creating a disaster recovery plan. To become a cybersecurity professional, typically you need a bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field. There definitely are stories of people getting into the industry without a degree. This is more uncommon, but it is definitely doable. For professionals that already have a bachelor's degree in a different field, some choose to do a boot camp in order to try and get into the cybersecurity industry. These boot camps are becoming more and more common, not just in cybersecurity, but everyone has heard of coding boot camps. Next, let's take a look at where cybersecurity professionals tend to work. 26% work in computer system design services, 18% work in the finance and insurance industry, and 10% work in management. Computer systems design pays cybersecurity professionals the most with an average base salary of around 103,000 per year. Next up is the finance and insurance industry, which pays on average around 101,000 per year. I'm kind of questioning the statistics. I'm not sure why the government has this management label with 94,000. You would think a cybersecurity professional that's a manager would make much more than this, but I'll just leave this in here for now. Next, let's take a look at the job market for cybersecurity professionals. They've seen very solid job gains over the past six years. In 2012, the government recorded 72,670 jobs. In 2018, they recorded 108,060 jobs. So in just six short years, the number of jobs has risen by th over 35,000 jobs. The government is also extremely optimistic about the future job market of cybersecurity professionals. They are forecasting a 32% job growth for these professionals from 2018 to 2028. Few occupations are expected to grow by this much. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. As cyber attacks continue, organizations will respond by expanding their cybersecurity teams. Banks and financial institutions have very much to lose in the case of a security breach, and therefore this industry will continue to hire many cybersecurity professionals. The healthcare industry is also really interested in safeguarding their digitized health records. In many cases, if any of these companies lose their data, they can be sued for millions of dollars, so it is in their best interest to have the best cybersecurity professionals on staff. Next, let's take a look at what cybersecurity professionals earn nationally. In 2012, the national base salary was recorded at around $90,000. By the year 2018, this average wage was recorded at $102,470. So nationally, wages rose for cybersecurity professionals by about $13,000 over just a period of six years. Also, let's take a look at how this average wage breaks down. Many people are interested in the starting salary of cybersecurity professionals. The data suggests that the starting salary would be between 56 k to 74000 per year using 2018 data. The great part is this, the top 10% of cybersecurity professionals make around 157000 per year. And with all the demand, the 32% job growth over the next 10 years, these salaries could rise much higher than this. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for cybersecurity professionals. The average wage is around 102,000 per year, but certain metro areas are hot spots and pay much more than other metro areas. So here are the top five highest paying metro areas for cybersecurity professionals. Number five is the capital of the state of Texas. It is Austin, Texas, where the average cybersecurity professional is making around 113,000 per year. 
Of the five metro areas on this list, this is actually my favorite because it has a very low cost of living and a relatively high wage. Next, we're heading east to the Washington DC metro area where the average wage is almost $115,000 per year. In terms of cost of living, the DC area is probably number two on this list because numbers one to three are very expensive to live in. Next, we are heading west and we are headed to North California. We're looking at San Francisco, California, where the average wage is around $119,000 per year. San Francisco is the most expensive metro on this list. Housing prices are crazy, but cybersecurity professionals have a lot of job opportunities here and a pretty high wage. Next, we are heading a couple hours south and we are headed to San Jose, California, where the average wage is actually above San Francisco, which is kind of surprising. The average wage here is around 121,000 per year. And this is probably because of companies like Google and Facebook. Next, we are heading back to the East Coast and number one on this list should surprise no one. It is the New York City metro area. This is an extremely expensive place to live, but the average wage is around 128,000 per year. Becoming a cybersecurity professional isn't easy, but there is lots of job opportunities and pretty high pay, especially compared to other occupations. Are you interested in becoming a cybersecurity professional? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.